here I am again, the 30 Minute Painter, and uh, today I'm going to be painting a boat, or what I call a boatscape. It's got one boat in it, and basically it's a landscape. And um, it's very much a blue picture, so I'm going to be using lots of French ultramarine blue, cerulean blue, and titanium white. Um, with some variations. So first of all I'm going to mark in my horizon. Here I am cheating a bit to get it straight with my ruler which is fine, that's fine to do that. But I'm also thinking about where I'm placing everything. So I'm, I'm blocking in the boat here roughly and um, I notice I haven't got that horizon quite in the middle of the painting. I've got it part way down, not quite two thirds, not quite one third, uh, a little in between. So now I've got that the horizon the boat blocked in, I'm going to block in the colour of the sky, which is cerulean blue and uh, titanium white mainly. A little touch of French ultramarine just for a little bit of dark, but I'm blocking it in mainly and then putting on a little darker area, very roughly because I'm going to soften this all up. I want to just get an effect, my bottom layer if you like. Now look how I'm spreading this across with my palette knife, which is what I can do as well before I start fan brushing. Uh, I'm using a fairly stiff fan brush here, going around the edges because I cover the edge of the uh, canvas as well. And I've got a nice soft layer and I'm going to now add the darks, the darker areas, because there are some darker areas in the sky, but I don't want them to be too obvious. So I'm, I'm softening them quite a bit here, again going to the edges, wherever the, the dark is reaching to the edge and uh, soften it all off so again I've got another kind of base layer so um, I'm swapping fan brushes where I need to and to soften one this is my very soft brush which creates a nice really blended effect now I've also got to put in some lights some highlights the brighter parts of the cloud um, and where the sunlight's touching it so I'm mixing up here titanium white uh, um, cadmium yellow and a little bit of lemon yellow. Now this is mainly titanium white but you can see there's just a touch of um, lemon yellow in there and um, I'm just putting it in there and then I'm going to soften it across. Where I think I put too much in, sometimes I do, I go back and take it off in my palette knife but I don't ever throw it away. I put that colour on the edge of my palette because I may want to come back and use it again later. Oil paint's really quite expensive so the more you can conserve it the better. So uh, adding a little bit more white here now I've, I've scraped away some of that bottom layer so that when I try to blend it I'm not going to blend it too far into the blue I'm not going to lose that bright part um, that easily. Now you see I've also actually swooped it down where the sunlight's coming through the cloud so that's the, the sunlight breaking through and um, filtering down through the clouds in, in the way it does sometimes like it has these lovely streaks coming through the clouds doesn't it like these uh, lovely waves of um, of sunlight coming through. Now I'm also, when I'm softening this, I'm also thinking about going in the direction of the cloud. So I'm not just doing this straight, I'm, I'm giving a little bit of direction, a little bit of um, curling, if you like, to it. Swapping brushes when I need to, really trying to get it nice and soft there. Going around the sides again, of course, because I need to do that um, to make sure I'm, I'm blending it all, um, because obviously the painting is a whole painting. So now I've um, got a fairly nice soft base layer. Um, I'm going to think about the other colours that are going to go on there. And, um, and so I can um, really blend this all in. Now a bit more dark because there is a little bit more dark high, you know, low light actually in here. Um, where there's sort of like some patchy cloud. Again, I've got three brushes on the go here. And um, they're the very um, softness. Um, to them so uh, this one's fairly firm but the the softest one I'm using is it's such a light touch it's like a feather going across the um, the painting and uh, that's the one I use last when I want to I'm going to take away the um, the brush strokes um, so this is the softest one of all and it really softens it up here so now I've got to think about also putting in that sunlight which is breaking through so I'm mixing up lemon yellow and titanium white and I'm, I'm just dotting it in with my palette knife um, in amongst the white and, um, and then again of course I'm going to um, soften that up. 
Now, uh, there's a little bit of um, sort of like island and darkness in the background. I'm putting that in onto the horizon, and um, in preparation for me to move on down into the into the sea. So, uh, but I need that in there as well because I've got to add in that um, sunlight coming through. So now I'm moving onto the sea, and I'm actually going to go big sweeping um, marks across the canvas with my um, palette knife because I'm, I'm thinking about how the sea moves and it rolls, it rolls and sweeps in waves uh, so it's undulating and um, if I can put that in there with my, my strokes on onto the canvas, uh, in this case using the palette knife, I get a sense of the movement of the sea as I'm putting the paint on, which actually helps with how that appears. So you can see it, it, it's um, sweeping across at a slight angle, so I'm now adding the darker areas. Again, not being too worried about how I put this on. I'm actually quite liberal where I put paint on because I know I can either take it off, I can smooth it out, or I can go over it on another layer. Now also adding in the, the darks first and defining the horizon a little bit more and um, I will soften this all up now but I want to get some really dark areas in because um, up close the, uh, the waves are really dark so uh, it's the, those, those patches are there's almost like the undertow so now I'm going to soften it a bit and um, starting from the horizon down um, uh, but keeping keeping with the, that flow, that um, the way the, the waves flow across. So I'm I'm still, although I'm I'm softening up in patches, I'm still trying to follow the flow of the wave as I do it, and I'm not necessarily softening it all. So there are some quite hefty patches of dark paint there. I haven't actually done much with at all because I want those to really show the depth of the wave as it. Um, uh, sort of swings across and um, flows into a, a wave and, and um, forms a crest which I will put in a bit later. So again I'm uh, now going to add in those crests I've talked about. There's little bits of highlight, that sea foam if you like that you get on the crest. Also a little bit of highlight that lightens it up going into the distance. Now you notice again I patted it on with my palette knife quite quite quickly, quite firmly, not putting too much in, but just where the uh, the tops of those waves are going to be. And again, I'm going to soften them a bit, not too much. Sometimes I actually quite like there being brush marks showing um, where you've got um, lots of movement happening in a painting. So I will soften this up a bit and, um, and particularly into the background, but uh, I am moving and changing my brushes as I go and obviously cleaning them well, but uh, I'm, I'm not going to be too um, careful about it. And again, I can just dab in wherever I have softened it and I want to keep a bit of crispness in, I can put that in again with the edge of the palette knife. So when I'm putting this in with a palette knife, where I want a really crisp edge, I scrape the edge of my palette knife into my paint. So I have it all along the very edge of the palette knife and I can then just tap it in. And uh, I would do that with the, the darks under the boat because I'm going to be thinking about painting the boat next. But I want to put in those dark areas where its, um, it's shadow is reflecting into the sea. And um, so you can see the, the, the darkness there. And I'm doing that with the edge of my palette knife, a very dark blue. So this is French ultramarine and Payne's grey with perhaps a little touch of cerulean blue. So the last thing I'm going to go on to is painting in the boat. Now, boats are a nightmare to paint. Um, it's because of their particular shape. They're, they're built up of ellipses and straight parts. And you're always looking at a boat in what seems to be like a strange perspective. So it, it's almost counterintuitive how you paint a boat. You, you have to think about actually emphasising its curves. And, and thinking about how its perspective works, and sometimes that means it foreshortens and it looks a little strange, but that is the way it works. So what I've done is I've, I've blocked in the outer side of it first, so I've got an outline. Now I'm adding in lighter parts, so I will then blend that in a little bit. I'm using a, quite a small sable brush here. I'm going to mark in the front of that boat 
and um, so I get put the, um, the the side that's furthest away from us in a bit of shadow, but I've also marked in a little bit of detail and um, with the white. Now, if you make a mistake like I just did there and go a little bit too far, if you're very careful with a fingernail and um, a, a wet wipe or a piece of tissue, you can move away, you can scrape away the paint that you've got in the wrong place and then paint round it again, that's what I've done. So I'm going to put in the darker areas on the boat now, the bits that are really in shadow, which is at the back, and uh, the, the areas that are around the edges and at the front, um, the prow of it, I believe that's the right term, where there's going to be a bit of definition, a bit of shade, and that um, gives me um, a sense of the, the, the boat having volume and substance. Now I've also put in a little bit of highlight there as well at the back because the sun is catching it, you know, it's catching the edge of it. So uh, I, I need to put a little bit of sunlight in there too, just tiny little touches, looking carefully at where it is on the in the picture that I'm following. Um, and then I'm going to add in the darks um, again of the shadow because I, I'd lost some of those as I've been painting around it. So I'm going to touch those in specifically where they should be on the water so that I get the shadow of the boat on the water but without going too far, not doing too much because as I said many times before, less is more actually when you're painting and it's better to paint something step away have a look at it and then go back and add a little bit more um, building it up which is why i like to paint in layers so the last thing to do here is paint in that sun that sun that is shining through the clouds and just adding that little bit of sunlight under the water the tops of those waves um, and just um, dappling it a little bit and catching on the edge of the boat too so again not too much just to give the impression of it. Now the sun is also actually um, blurred, diffuse. So we're going to um, make that a little bit diffuse. Uh, if I paint outwards with my fan brush from it, I create this lovely kind of sunspot effect um, very easily and it's softened up. If I need to, I can go back into the center of that sun and add a little bit more, a very bright white or white and lemon yellow, just to give it a bit more definition. And I'll just soften the, those highlights a little bit, but I'm actually trying to leave quite a lot of them there. So I'm just going to add in that tiny little bit in the middle of that sun and um, using a very fine brush and one or two patches on the water as well. Where I'm putting more or less putting um, titanium white on again with the tiniest touch of lemon yellow in it. Again on the boat, just to give it that bit of definition and uh, I've got a tiny little bit of um, sunlight I need to catch in there and um, soften it all up a little bit more and then I'm, I'm pretty much sure I'm done with it and um, there, I think I'm pretty happy with that. So I hope you've enjoyed painting a boatscape with me and um, here is the finished painting. Uh, you can see a little bit more detail here. You can see how I haven't actually taken away all the brush strokes. And uh, there it is further away in, in its um, completeness. If you've enjoyed this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and um, have a look at lots more demos. And have a look at my website, www.debramartin.co.uk, where there's information about painting tuition. And also about commissioning me if you'd like me to paint something for you. Thank you for watching.